Josh Birch can relate to the revolutionary cry from 1776, no taxation without representation. When I turned 18, I knew what it was like not to have a vote that mattered, and I can't in good conscience sit on the sideline and have my children turn 18 and not do anything to ensure that they're treated fully and equally as American citizens. Birch, a native Washingtonian, co-founded Neighbors United for D.C. statehood. It's part of a movement spearheaded by the mayor to give residents of the District of Columbia a vote and a voice. The Constitution grants Congress power over an area no more than 10 miles square from which to govern the country. That district is now home to almost 700,000 people who pay taxes but were denied the right to vote for president until 1961. They still have no voting members on Capitol Hill, although their shadow senators and representatives may participate in debates. Shadow Senator Paul Strauss says statehood is the best way to give full rights to the district's residents. D.C. residents serve in the military, pay full federal taxes, serve their government in so many ways. And to deny them the equality that Americans who live in the 50 states have is just wrong. And advocates point out that D.C. has more residents than either Vermont or Wyoming. And those states have the same representation in the Senate as populous states like New York and California. However, the statehood movement has a fair number of opponents. Roger Pilon founding director of the Cato Institute's Center for Constitutional Studies says that turning D.C. into a state is unconstitutional. The great problem that is faced in this case is that under this doctrine of enumerated and limited powers, there is no power that the federal government has to create a new state. The opponent's strongest argument is partisan. D.C. residents have always elected Democrats to open offices during citywide elections, so statehood would guarantee more Democrats in Congress. The debate will continue in November, when D.C. residents will vote on a plan proposed by the new Columbia Statehood Commission. It would keep federal buildings like the White House and Capitol Hill in a much smaller federal enclave, while turning the rest of what is currently the District of Columbia into the state of New Columbia. Rosie Brown, VOA News, Washington.